Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and MobileGeeks.com and I've got the new Moto G right here. So this is basically the new super cheap smartphone with a good, decent uh, hardware design from Motorola, which is now belonging to Google, as we all know. And this is supposed to kind of like destroy the US uh, smartphone market in a way that they want to market it without contract for just 169 US dollars which gets you a very very nice phone actually so you get a quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 CPU in there that's MSM 8626Q that runs at 1.2 gigahertz it has an Adreno 305 450 megahertz graphics part so the performance is really good it's somewhere above the Galaxy S3 and uh, below all those Qualcomm 800 devices or the Galaxy S4 for example or the Nexus 5. Um, it has a 4.5 inch screen that has a resolution of 1280 by 800, uh, 1280 by 720. So it's a 720p screen at 4.5 inches, which gives you a pixel density of 329 ppi, which is pretty decent for a device of this size and of this price. It is an IPS panel, the brightness is pretty much okay. The viewing angles are not so good, but they're totally fine at least at this price. Uh, colors look good everything is very sharp on the screen as you can see all the fonts look very good on this phone and it runs Android 4.3 right now. Um, Motorola said they want to upgrade to Android 4.4 KitKat in January and we'll see how that works out. Um, let's take a quick look around we have a 1.3 megapixel camera up here that's the speaker and the light and the distance sensors. Below that, the 4.5 inch screen. There's all on-screen buttons in this. So as Google has started doing with all their Nexus devices and recommends for all other companies, they are putting the Android buttons on screen. So you don't have anything down here to touch. There's just this black strip down there. And that has a couple of um, advantages but also some disadvantages. A couple of people like the, the capacitive touch buttons but when you play games or f do stuff like this for example you always end up touching those buttons. So actually it's for me it's better to have them on screen at least. Uh, the device is just above 3, 11, no it's just under 12 millimeters in thickness so it's not really the thinnest device. Uh, it has a total plastic build which is fine uh, but we'll get to that later. Um, on the right side we have the power button and the volume marker right there. On the bottom there's the mic for your phone's phone calls. We have a micro USB port right there. On the left side there's pretty much nothing and on top we have the headset jack, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and the noise cancellation mic. Um, on the back there's a 5 megapixel camera with flash in there a speaker and this Motorola logo right there. As you can see the, the back cover is plastics it's all made it's it's got this kind of matte finish but it's still very attracting very, very um, it does draw a lot of fingerprints uh, but there's something you can do about this which is basically just switch out the cover because Motorola is also selling optionally this um, flip cover actually and it makes the device a bit thicker because the material, like the the walls of the cover, are actually a bit thicker. So what you end up with is a device that is, I would guess, like close to 30 millimeters. And if you have this cover on it, it gets even thicker. But that doesn't really matter because this should protect the device pretty good. It has this kind of textured back, so that doesn't attract any fingerprints at all. And there's a magnet in here and in the phone, so when you open up the cover, it actually unlocks the phone, which is a nice feature. Uh, they have this textile um, surface in here that is has this soft touch to it and that actually cleans the screen a bit while you jiggle it around in your bags. I'm not going to change the cover right now because it's very very hard to get this cover off again. I mean the cover, the original cover gets off really easy or like easier, a lot easier than this because this is much stronger material and you're uh, I don't want to scratch anything and I don't want to rip off my fingernails. Um, if you want to see that, just check out the German video. I did that there and as you will see in it, 
it's pretty hard to get off. Um, another thing that Motorola is going to start doing is they're going to sell these covers uh, for you to exchange them yourself. And I'm just going to get this off here and put on the pink replacement cover that I got over there. Just got to work my way around here for a second. It gets kind of hard. And it tends to snap back on so that doesn't make it all that easy to switch. But Alice, you're not you're not gonna switch those covers very often. So as we get down inside the device, you can see that they have this 2070 milliampere hour battery in there, which is probably gonna last all day for you if you're like a medium kind of um, if you're not using the device too often. It cannot be removed, so there's you can see it, but you can't remove it. Another thing is up here we only have a single SIM card slot. There's no micro SD card slot, so the 8 gigs of onboard flash memory or 16 gigs if you get the $200 version are not going to be expandable. Um, and for the Russian and Chinese and another a couple of Asian markets, and I would guess Southern America too, they have this spot right here which is already prepared for the second SIM card slot. Um, what else is in there? There's one gig of RAM in the device and they have uh, the 8 or 16 gigs as I was talking about. It does HSPA plus up to 21.1 megabits per second and you have NWIFI in there, Bluetooth 4.0 and one gig of RAM as I said. <clears throat> now I have the cover back on here so this is actually, I don't know if, if the camera gets the colors straight but this is actually a very pink color, color. So what you end up with is actually like this two-tone kind of style where you have the black front because it doesn't wrap all the way around. Um, Motorola actually, actually wants to sell a lot, of, a lot of different colors so you can select one of them. I would actually recommend the white or the black one if there is a white one, I don't really know. Um, so this has been the Motorola G. I'm just rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later.